Hi, I am the Shadowy Blaze, and this is another tutorial. So, um, as you might may be noticing, um, the quality of my videos has increased thanks to Based Camtasia. I love you so much, and I never want you to leave, and you never will. But, um, but that's not what we're talking about today. Um, what we will be talking about is more Fire Alpaca stuff. Also, I will be talking about Cloud Alpaca, which I have downloaded here, but that's for another time. Fire Alpaca, in, one person asked me, I think it was a person called Shishi Jacobs, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, asked me if I had a premium version of Fire Alpaca because of my brush count. I will say no. You don't have to pay for Fire Alpaca, to my knowledge. Um, um, so, it is still free, and I think it always will be. Thank goodness. That would be great. <laughs> and the latest version is 1.3, and I have 1.0.52. So, I'm way behind, honestly. And the interface has changed quite a lot, but... I just don't want to get rid of my old version, so, yeah, that's the version I have. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Um, so, there are two ways to make a brush. One is to click New Brush and pick which type of brush it is, uh, Watercolor. So, there are two ways to do watercolor. There is... The watercolor brush is very versatile, and I like it a lot. And today, I, we are going to be making a smudge brush. Not a lot. I don't... And, um... Yeah. So, after that... So, that is load of color, like how much of the foreground color you have. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty simple. I will just call it smudge brush. And, yeah. See how well it blends into each other? Yeah, that'll be very convenient. And I just put that all on one layer, silly me. And just use another layer. And another way you can make a new brush is this wonderful little feature called Bitmap, where you take literally any PNG image. Literally any PNG image. I'm going to be using this, because why not? And... Randomly rotate it. Let's see. And make it like a pencil brush. And let's make it into like as coherent as possible. So make sure the brush spacing is very limited. And this will be like a texture brush that I made. So I called it Murica because I am so creative. And there you go, you have just made yourself a really cool texture brush. And yes, if you want to do, click, select size by pressure and opacity by pressure, basically if you want to actually use the tablet, I recommend for this one opacity by pressure, because if you don't, you, this is, this is without pressure and this just looks kind of, I mean, you could still use it, but still. So yeah, any PNG image you have um, will make a brush. But, and now finally, let's make a brush. I will be making a, a triangle brush. So, delete this layer, like make it PNG. So, let's make it a triangle brush, or the Illuminati. Let's make it the Illuminati brush, yeah because that won't be dated in a couple years. So just draw your thing. And I'm just kind of rushing through here. Or let's make it Bill Cipher. Yay! Because that also won't be dated in a couple years. Anyways, 
So file save as save as a PNG image. Let's call it Billy Bob. And save it under Yeah, let's just save it under desktop. And then bitmap. Calling it Billy Bob. <laughs> there we go. Nah. And now you have your very own brush of Bill Cyphers. How do you feel knowing that you just made a Bill Cypher brush? Like, that's, that's awesome. And there's also a lot of other features. So, so using our brush, we can, there's also bit, not only bit, not but scatter. Uh, you can adjust it to your liking, make the particles really big or so tiny they don't even matter anymore. And scatter strength is basically how, how spread out they are. So with that in mind, now it doesn't even look like Bill Cipher. And again, you can adjust the size to whatever you want. And why did I make this a brush? There's also scatter watercolor, which is just basically, well, watercolor. And let's just get rid of the load of colors. And they actually blend in with each other. Huh. Let's just add another color to the mix. Okay, maybe you don't. Um, yeah, don't forget scatter watercolor. And... Uh, Pink. Oh wait, I forgot. Don't put your load of color to zero. What if it's only like a low value, like ten, so you can get the best results? So like subtlety is everything. Before, yeah. So now it just looks like a giant mess. And also, uh, I don't. In honor of hiatus. So yeah, that the reason why I made a Bill Cipher was just to. Give you an example i'm going to delete this later in fact just delete it now i don't like it anymore i don't like it at all so now but i do like the america brush because it looks nothing like america so scatter watercolor load of color but i just prefer bitmap for this and i like i just prefer bitmap for this one randomly rotating the lower the brush spacing, the more incoherent it becomes, and the higher the spacing, as you can see. So just put that down a little bit, a lot. And now you have literally the best charcoal. You can even, let's draw a cute, let's draw something right now. Another thing. Let's just draw the kawaii girl and shade her in with the brush that we just made. Wait, it's been reversed this entire time. Dang it. Oh my god. This is our thing. And now we just do our usual technique. Again, I'm just gonna use
can't even tell that America has been here. And now, we do our little cute brushes. Oh wait, that, that, okay, that's a little. Now, see? Doesn't that look cute? She looks adorable, even if she is slightly malformed. And I spent literally no time on the eyes. Well, I spent time on it, but you get the you get the gist. So yeah, that is how you make your own brush. That's the beauty of Bitmap. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this one because it's fun. Like, there are a lot of brushes you can use for novelty purposes, or if you actually want to try and use it, feel free. Actually, although, see, that is the close-up of our brush. I don't need health insurance. I have Jesus. <laughs> yep. I know I just insulted some part of my demographic by doing this, but I don't care. Really. Like, I only have, like, I love all of my 19, all of my 19 subscribers, but yeah. I don't have I don't have very much to lose. No offense. At at least, but maybe if you click that subscribe button, I'll have more to lose, and I'll be more careful in the future. Maybe. Nah. Anyways, this is the Shadowy Blaze signing off. Uh, after I finish this eye, there we go. <laughs> Kawaii, the Shonen. And yeah, bye.